Melvin Ingram was voted into his third Pro Bowl as an alternate this season at the defensive end position. But classifying him as such severely underrates his contribution to the Chargers. He can align at the edge position as well as inside at defensive tackle. This has been the case since he started drawing attention for his stellar play during high school. Listed as a three-star recruit by 24-7 Sports, Ingram was the 359th player in the nation, 12th in North Carolina, and 9th at linebacker. Ingram completed his senior year of high school with 87 tackles and two and a half sacks. NC Prep Sports named him Defensive Player of the Year as a senior in 2006. He enrolled at South Carolina to play for legendary coach Steve Spurrier. Ingram recorded 15 tackles as a freshman at the linebacker position. He then suffered a broken foot in the offseason, forcing him to miss his entire sophomore season with a medical redshirt. As a redshirt sophomore in 2009, he recorded 18 tackles, 1.5 sacks, and 3.5 tackles for loss. This was the year he moved to defensive end prior to the Florida game as a result of injuries. He broke out during the 2011 season as a redshirt junior. He recorded 28 tackles, 11 tackles for loss, and 9 sacks, third best in the SEC and the second most in school history. He broke his hand against Vanderbilt but managed to return to the contest. As a senior, he continued to prove his dominance wasn't a fluke, recording 48 tackles, 15 tackles for loss, 10 sacks, and 2 interceptions. As a result of these otherworldly statistics, Ingram was invited to the 2012 NFL Scouting Combine, where he impressed scouts with his combination of speed and strength. He ran a 4.69 in the 40-yard dash, performed 28 reps on the bench, and jumped 34.5 inches in the vertical leap. Ingram was taken by the San Diego Chargers with the 18th overall selection in the 2012 NFL Draft. As a rookie, Ingram made an immediate impact for the Chargers, recording 41 tackles, 4 tackles for loss, and 1 sack. After his stellar rookie performance, he was dealt a setback when he tore his ACL during OTAs leading up to his second season. This limited him to four appearances in the 2013 season, where he recorded eight tackles, one forced fumble, and one tackle for loss. Ingram was injured again the following season in a Week 2 contest against the Seahawks. The team placed him on non-season-ending IR in 2014, and as a result, he was limited to nine appearances. During the 2014 season, Ingram recorded 29 tackles, four sacks, and five tackles for loss in spite of his limited playing time. The following year, in 2015, Ingram started to put questions about his durability to rest in addition to quieting doubts about if he was really a premier defensive lineman. He appeared in all 16 games and recorded 65 tackles, 10.5 sacks, and 14 tackles for loss. He accomplished this by aligning at various positions along the defensive line both inside, at tackle, and outside on the edge. He continued his production during the 2016 season, recording 60 tackles, 8 sacks, and 10 tackles for loss. He was not voted to the AP All-Pro team, nor did he make the Pro Bowl in either one of these seasons, a testament to how underrated he was during this period. He was not even listed in the NFL Top 100 after these two great seasons. In 2017, he finally started to get recognized for his electric play and Herculean production. He recorded 56 tackles, 17 tackles for loss, and 10.5 sacks in order to earn his first Pro Bowl nod. He was also voted into the NFL Top 100 rankings as the number 76 player prior to the 2018 season. In 2018, he had a slight statistical regression, but still managed to make it into the Pro Bowl and actually rose in the NFL Top 100 to number 48. This was a result of the disruption Ingram caused to opposing QBs that isn't always reflected in stats, such as hurries and pressures as well as quarterback hits, which can force QBs into making mistakes. In 2019, Melvin Ingram recorded 48 tackles, 11 tackles for loss, and 7 sacks in only 13 appearances due to a hamstring injury late in the year. On a team eager to promote Joey Bosa as the marquee pass rusher, take heed not to overlook the stud on the other edge and even inside the tackles that is Melvin Ingram. He brings a dynamic presence to the pass rush since he can line up inside or outside and attack the O-line with a variety of speed and power moves. The Chargers defensive front is quite formidable and will give opposing QBs problems for years to come. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay dangerous.